That sound effect is so out of place. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it matches, does it? Uh, does this thing have anything to do with it? No, pretty sure that's to do with the sink puzzle. Room number was 297. Didn't I do that already? Four twenty-three, maybe for the AM, the time he wakes up. Oh, it was that supervisor achievement unlocked. Cool. Now what? No, I win. Uh, let's look around. Yeah, so you got cameras on pretty much everything. Not super surprised by all that. That one seems to have a problem, evidently, in the typewriter room. Okay, there's a problem in the typewriter room. All the other rooms seem stable. Well, that one says it's paused. I wonder if you can find the cameras and actually see them. It's above the desk, uh, I guess by that lamp or by the globe. Yeah, I guess it would be like... Oh, maybe it's just in the vents? Or up in that corner or something? Huh. Alright, so that kind of like didn't help. Hi, Maya. Can't go up the ladder. Alright, what new information did I actually glean from this room? All of the other ones are paused. It, oh, that one's paused too, but it's just red. What if I turn the lights off in this room and then see if anything looks different? Oh, it doesn't work anymore. That's weird. It's like blindingly bright light coming through here. Sure, it really looks different. Can't seem to interact with any of this stuff. I think the lantern still looks like it's on. So, outstanding puzzles at the moment are. How do I get the R typed into this? Because there's no R. It won't let me use the pen. Right? No. Can't use it. Um, what is the coordinate I need to put into the globe? There's still, like, several jam drawers. There are drawers. There's the whatever the hell cryptex and the sink puzzle in the bathroom. And I can't look under this desk. Coat hanger. Hmm. I don't think so, but I'll try it. It doesn't really hurt to try. No. Yeah, I would think that might work. Can I not... 
Oh, I can pick up the glasses. I, I thought I clicked on those before. Apparently I didn't. Or if I clicked, I missed. And also that. Which I didn't take with me for some reason. Alright, so what can I do with the glasses then? Anything? Can I melt them? The lighter? No. Melt the pen, melt... Me, there's no melting. No melting being done. Okay. I'll write a P and then use the pen to make an R. Interesting. I don't think that'll be the solution, but I wish it were. Because that's actually pretty oddly clever. No. Sadly, no. It's just a Russian R. Hmm. I'm very certain that is the right word, though. Oop. Ah. it just leaves you with the last letter that would complete it, and it's like... It's like a little tease, you know? Well, it's not so much a T as an R, but you get, you get what I mean. A little tease. I don't really want to come back here because I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yeah, this stuff's all sorted out. This one was locked on the other side, yeah. No, I don't think I can pull a key off. Also, they took away my pliers after I used them. Yeah, it's... yeah, the cameras are definitely in the vents. Fucking hell with this radio. This is the only other thing that I feel like there's a chance I might be able to figure out what to do with it, but I honestly have no clue. I think maybe it wants me to connect those. So, like, the triangle connects to... What is that, the top left one? Yeah, I think one of them is a top coordinate, one of them is a side coordinate, and then you've got to link them up with the, the lines, maybe. So... I don't know what active is, though. Yeah, this one is a bit mystifying. I really kind of have no clue what I'm doing with this. What if you use it? Okay. Yeah. Use away. Can't use it. I can switch and I can erase, but I can't use it. Well, at the very least, it's definitely... Ooh, wrong one. Uh, definitely the right object for whatever this is. So like... Alright, so there's a few repeated symbols there. We've got like two of those water droplets down at the bottom right. And it wants to connect to the Y with a dot and the triangular V. So, both of those to the water droplet. Triangular dot... Wait, which one? Guess these shapes are not really just letters. It's hard to keep them in my head for more than a moment or two. 
Uh, okay, so the first is the top left, and then the the one that looks like a Y or a Half Life Lambda. Okay, got it. So I guess both of those that would connect those. Is that the idea? Alright, not really sure what to make of that. Uh, next. Then we've got the two... Oh, see, those aren't... Those aren't on the same side. Thoughts. They're, are they just coordinates? I'm supposed to input one at the point where those two intersect. That might be what it is. But the thing is, there's so many of these options to toggle through. Alright, let's just take this one at a time and maybe I can figure it out ultimately. Um, so the next one, let me turn this around. So the next one is... Where's that squiggler? Squiggle. Okay, second. I wish I could keep my focus on the background and also look at this at the same time. Uh, squiggle on the left, second down from the top. Plus. Forty-five degree angle line. Excuse me. Uh, I guess that would be that. So how do I know which of these do I set it to, though? I could screen cap it, that's true. See what color the symbols are. I'm just not sure if we have enough information to solve this yet or not. That's the only thing. Uh, then we got straight squiggly and triangle squiggly. Oh, I get what you mean. Maybe I need to do the inverse of what I'm trying to do right now. Instead of select them, I need to leave the blue dots as the only ones left. That would make a bit more sense, to be honest but also be a lot more confusing and difficult to set up. All right, give me a sec here. I want to screen cap this. And then maybe I can do this a bit faster. Uh, that way I can keep both things in focus at the same time. Goodness for Poosh. Alright, now I have an image to work with. It seems really confusing, doesn't it? Uh, I guess I'll put this over here. Sorry, I'm setting up things on my monitor so I have a good amount of room and can still see. Okay, now I don't have to look at this ever again. I've got it next to me for reference. I have screen capped the crypto. Oh, and then circle the right squares. You know, that kind of makes sense too, actually. Good, good idea. I'm going to do that as well.
Oh, can I have them both open at the same time? I need, uh... Ah. Well, I can. I just need to open them in different things. No, open them as two different windows, not the same window with the same... Base. All right, open this one in paint then, because I'm going to edit it anyway. Fine. Okay. Now I got them both open, ready to circle things. So first is triangle do drop. Triangle do drop. That's the top left. Okay. Second is do drop Y. That's the far corner. Sorry, you guys don't get to see this part. Then we've got C squiggly and that. I don't know what to call it, but I know what it is. Maybe there'll be a pattern that seems more obvious once I circle them all, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we've got up and down squiggly and triangle. It's like I'm making a Mega Man 2 password right now, or 3. Two? I think two had passwords. Um, up and down squiggle and that. And lastly, what is that? Looks like a plant sprout plus V shape. So that's the third? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh shit, these don't line up properly. All right, that's kind of a problem. Let's... I have to start over. Um... Yeah, I meant to do the far end one. See squiggle and second to last. Okay, now I know I'm doing it properly. Sorry. I should have paid more attention to how many there were across. Up and down squiggle plus triangle is the first one. Up and down squiggle plus 45 degree angle. That's four to five. That puts us here. And sprout plus V-shape. the third one. Okay, now I have an image of what this needs to look like. How the hell do I execute it, though? That's another story entirely. So, just to show you, is there a way that I can not activate all of them? Not really. Okay, well, let me just start solving then. Oh, that doesn't go all the way up, does it? It stops. But that one does go over all the way, so it's got a certain amount that it'll go on. <clears throat> okay, that clears that whole row out. And this... Nope. Peculiar puzzle this is. Not exactly ever seen anything quite like this. So I want the top left one and the top right one to be lit up. Fair enough. Um, somehow I've got to get these three to go down. So that would be a square here. Nope, that won't work either because I need these two here to be on. No, and that won't work either, because I need... Okay, so I've got to do a diagonal somewhere. Diagonal here works. Yep, okay. <clears throat> You should play some Nancy Drew games. 
I wouldn't necessarily be against it. Uh, then I want this. Okay, that's correct. Then this whole row can go all the way to the end, to the right. Good. That works. Uh, so I've got to get two square, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. I think we're getting somewhere now. Oh, maybe I also want square here, though. Because I need just this one to be on. That would do that. Okay. Now... Both of these two need to be on. Can't do a plus. Is there another diagonal, maybe? Yeah, I can do a diagonal here, I think. Nope. Oh, that breaks this one. Damn. Getting closer. But not quite right yet. What about... You have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to set certain tiles of these that correspond with a key to be on. Um, I guess I could screen cap so you can see what I'm working from. So, if this helps any, hopefully you can see now. This puzzle is so much harder than any of the others. How do I change the color? I just click on them and then it swaps and rotates. So the circled ones that I've shown are the, the ones that need to be lit up, as far as I'm aware. down. Okay. Oh, now we've got both top and that. We've got to make these two go and this one go and then we're done. But if I do that, it takes out one of the ones I need. Oh, I guess I could just do that, huh? Because that doesn't actually get in the way of anything. Um, Alright, so these two are the ones I need to leave on. And now I just need to get rid of these two, and that's it. Which... If I just change this to an upline, then it would do four. But that will also undo these. Oh, done! I did it! There's the R! What a weird thing to put in that. Alright. Problem solved. That was a difficult but fair puzzle.
Oh, it's saving. Now you oh, use the R. Put it in the keyboard. Now press it. Oh, I got the memories achievement. So clearly I did it correctly. Oh, you're... Oh! <laughs> that is not what I expected to happen. What the hell is this? Is this how I figure out the coordinates? Hmm. Oh. State power hierarchy machinery. Oh, it says the same thing on all of them. Is there anything else in this room? I don't think there is. It's just the table. Exodus arrival. I don't even know what I'm trying to solve here. Where do I get the hints for this? So, what is the... Oh. The map is gonna tell me what to put in here, I guess? So I'm supposed to find places... ...that I need to look at. Okay, so Boston is arrival, right? Is Boston on this? Yes, it is. Boston is... ...four degrees north, twelve degrees west. Uh, or and oh wait, I have to do Exodus first, don't I? And twelve degrees west. So like that's very likely the correct thing for that. Oh wait, do I have it backwards? No, that doesn't go up to 12. Um, that's- so that's Arrival. Let's figure out Exodus then, because that's the one that it seems to want first. Where did I come from again? It was a city in Russia. Was it Moscow? I should be able to look. Uh, go back to travel info. Departure from Volgrad. There we go. Okay, so this is this is what we need to do here. So we go five degrees north, eight degrees east. Got it. Got it. And arrival was 4 north, 12 west. Nope. Stay there. Go. Oh, just perfect. There we go. Easy puzzle. And what has changed? Oh! We science again! Congratulations! What? You have successfully passed the test. Now, you belong to the state. You are one of us. You may leave the room whenever oh, you want. Further on, you will find your task as a son of the new era. Follow the path shown above you. Head towards the exit. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Congratulations. You have successfully passed the test. Now, you belong to the state. Okay. You are one of us. Maybe I don't want to go that way. Whenever you're ready. Can I go back into the facility and learn more to dismantle you from the inside out? 
to turn the damn music back on. No, I don't think I can. Head towards the exit. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Oh. Follow. Holy hell. <laughs> this place is wild. Work hard. Oh, there's my sweet suit, chief scientist. Oh, I'm gonna sleep on that bed. Oh, I'm gonna have a really sad life soon. Yeah, better pray. Let us be thankful to benefactor. Blessings of the state. Blessings of the masses. Work hard. Increase production. Work hard. Increase production. By the masses. For the masses. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Yeah! That was... Yo, I wanna... I wanna like... Not... No! Oh no. Are you gonna play that again? Let us be thankful it... to Benefactor. <laughs> it wouldn't let me leave. Things of this state. I was trying to turn Blessings around. Things of the masses. Work hard. Increase production. Work hard. Increase production. By the masses, for the masses. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Can I move now? I still can't move. Oh, I was... Okay, I had to hit escape or I was trapped in that screen. I didn't realize... What is this? Oh, I've got my own science card. Good for me. Oh, I can get my pill dose. That really hits the spot, doesn't it? I'd like some pills. Recordings of subject E-5-0-3. If you are listening to this, it is because you have completed the indoctrination phase. Now, you are one of us. From this moment, you will be recognized by the state as subject E-5-0-3. Given your profile and after successfully completing the expectations, your function as a son of the new era will be to lead the laboratory and to complete all the tasks that the benefactor delegates upon your new ID. You will be supplied with pills every eight hours. They will revoke your eating, social, and lucrative needs in such way that your productivity will not be affected. Work hard, increase production. Oh, you can't play it until it's rewound all the way. Recordings of subject E503. If you are listening to this. A new beginning. Achievement unlocked. Developed by Team Gotham. Well, I didn't really expect it to end right there, but I guess that makes sense that it would. That was positively delightful. I just wish it concluded a little better, but I really did enjoy the way it was laid out. That was probably one of my favorite 
like escape the room style games that I've ever played actually. I really was expecting this would sort of conclude in a more climactic way than that, but I guess this was supposed to be a big revelation. And they did pace it in a pretty decent way. I mean, the, the hardest puzzle was the last puzzle I did. Pray again or riot. Yeah, I did have a lot of items that never got used, but they were just sort of for flair, I suppose. Speaking of Escape the Room, have you played Room on the iPhone? I've definitely heard of it a bunch of times, but I never... Isn't it a uh, Dark Room? The name of it. It was weird, but cool. Yeah, I really like this. I'm still happy to recommend this to people. Obviously, now that you've seen the whole thing, it loses a bit of its point. I, I always feel sad about that. Oh, Remy's in there. Thanks to my family for giving me the opportunity to make this happen. Thanks to Maribel for supporting me on this journey. That's nice. I'm going to be watching these devs. They certainly did something really good with this one. So, uh, production values were surprisingly high. I definitely play more stuff by them. <clears throat> Yeah, you can get this right now in case you missed part of it. I recommend just pick up a copy. It's $2 on sale. It's called The Room, or sorry, The Guest. I don't know why I keep saying The Room. The story makes no sense, like, at all. It might, I just need to figure it out. <laughs> 